Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to get started with the Pieces for JetBrains plugin in IntelliJ. Jumping right in, click the plugins menu inside of the settings drop down, and on the window that opens here, you'll type pieces in the search. The plugin will be the first thing to show up here. Just press install, and without restarting IntelliJ, the install will complete. Select OK, and then go over to your sidebar menu, so you can attach pieces to your sidebar. Press refresh the list after it opens, and immediately you'll get a notification that says failed to connect to Pieces OS. Pieces OS runs in the background and supports all of our applications, so you'll need to download it from this window that will open automatically. This page detects your operating system and gives you the correct download. Open the app installer file, and once it opens, make sure that launch when ready is checked. You'll see then that Pieces OS window for the background application open, which you can close for now. You now have the ability to save your first snippet. Take something like this widget here and right click and select Save to Pieces. A notification will confirm that the snippet is saved and then you can go back to the Pieces plugin in the sidebar and select the new snippet you just created. You can see all of the metadata in the Markdown preview, such as the link to this GitHub repository where the code lives on github.com, with the rest of contextual code around it. So if you go back into IntelliJ, this data can be edited and saved with the snippet, like renaming a snippet to something more readable so that you can find it easier later when searching for it. You can create a shareable link as well, but first you need to sign in to utilize the cloud. Select Try to Log In, and a window will appear where you can sign in via Google. Once you do that, you can select Share via Pieces link again, and this time the notification will read differently and that shareable link will be attached to your clipboard, ready for you to use in places like Gchat. You can now send it to your teammate by hitting paste, where they can click the link and then view the code inside of their browser, with links and other tags. The best way to get the richest metadata is actually by using our Chrome extension, which works inside of Edge and most Chromium-based browsers. Once you install the extension, Pieces OS will confirm its connection and that it's there, and you can test it on this JavaScript snippet below. Select Copy and Save from the buttons that appear here. And then if you go back into IntelliJ and check your snippet list in preview, you'll see the test snippet and all the metadata that was attached from the browser. You can press Finish to complete this onboarding or just close the window. Now imagine that you are on a dart.dev doc site and you see the Copy and Save buttons below the code. You can save this example of variables in Dart code, and just by having the extension installed, all of the code snippets on this page are ready to be saved prematurely. If you go back into IntelliJ, you can now see that Dart.dev snippet in the preview, and since var is quite common, it is mistakenly labeled JavaScript, but with the new drag and drop reclassification, you can drop that into its proper language and you are good to go. This is Pieces for Developers desktop app, which already has the snippets we saved earlier inside. You can click that icon and open up and see the metadata that is attached to your code and even generate a shareable link like before. Pieces desktop app provides the best way to view your snippets and to utilize the workflow activity feature where you can see where code was found from and when you viewed it last. Find out more about Pieces by watching this video to learn how to use it or go to our website at code.pieces.app.